All right, we're going to give you a tour of our boiling area and uh, some of the heating system that's in the vocational wing. And uh, we'll take you to the boiler room at this time. So this is the main boiler area that we have. Um, as you can see, we've got the large boiler behind us. This boiler takes care of all of the heat in our middle school, our high school, and in our CTE wing. Um, we have some other items in this room. If you look to this side over here, we've got a couple of hot water heaters. We also have compressors that, that, um, that run the pneumatic system in the, uh, in the middle school. The middle school runs on its own system for pneumatics and the vocational wing or the CTE wing runs on steam heat. So, as you can see, we have a, we have an insulation shroud on the boiler. So this is kind of hiding what the actual boiler looks like. If you look at the boiler underneath and to the sides, you'll see that we have quite a bit of rust and water damage over the years. Um, we're not sure of the age of this boiler, but we believe it was either in 1939 or 1950. We'll try to find more information about the age of the boiler. A lot of our issues deal with the pipes, and we have pipes that, that take water to the facility, and then we have returns. As you can see, this pipe here has been repaired in one, two, three, four, five locations. This pipe right here, we've had estimates for replacing it. Just this area here alone it's about $5,000 to replace it. So the infrastructure of the pipes, as you can see, can, can increase a cost um, with trying to keep up with the older items. We do have a small boiler located right here. This was purchased uh, from a, a school that had upgraded. We have this as a backup boiler. It can provide enough heat for our building so that it doesn't freeze but it probably doesn't have the capacity to make it comfortable for you know, everyday operations. So um, it is not currently hooked up. It's just something that we purchased for a few thousand dollars uh, about eight, 10 years ago, just as a backup, because we continue to have issues with the larger boiler system. Most of our piping is in this area for the boiler room. Um, there are large pipes that take hot water to the high school, the middle school, and to the uh, vocational wing or the career and tech ed building. It's important to note that we have to heat the water in this large boiler to a steam level. And the reason we have to do that is because the vocational wing has steam heat. So we're heating water to a much higher temperature um, for all of our facilities, but it's only being used in about one fourth of the square footage of our facilities. We do have one situation up here. Not sure if you'll be able to see it. We may have to take a photo of it. But there's a, uh, a pipe without insulation. And just to the left of the two yellow marks on that white pipe, you can see a small clamp. That is a clamp that is covering up a pee hole or a, a pea-sized hole on a, a hot water return or a steam return from the vocational building. Unfortunately, we have several of those throughout the building where we know there are leaks. We can take it to the other side of the boiler. This shows you a little bit of the floor and the concrete and foundation issues that we're facing in this base basement area. Uh, again, we don't know the exact date of this foundational area, but it's either from the early elementary school, which was in the late 1800s, or it was probably put in place in the early 1900s around 1920 with the old high school building. Um, the old high school building was actually farther south so it's most likely from the original elementary building. Um, we have voids in different directions here. This is the old coal chute. This actually uh, comes out in front of the, the garages out by the, the ag shop and this is where Back in the day when they burned coal, they would bring coal down in here. So uh, again, it's another void that we have down in this 
this basement area. The lighting back in this area is kind of dark, but this is another storage area. It was at one time part of the boiler area. I'm guessing they probably stored coal in here originally uh, for the, you know, the original building. I wanted to provide a little bit of information about the other heating portions of our system. This is an air handling unit that heats the resting room. So we're, we're kind of up, uh, up higher than the stage. The lighting, if you look past there, is actually the stage lighting above the stage. And so this unit is used. Um, uh, the, the wrestlers like to use it when they like to make it a little bit warmer in the resting room. So this is a functioning unit here. There are two other units I want to show you. One is still functioning, the other one is, hasn't been used for many, many years. This utility room here has a, a large air handler as well. We're actually on the east side of the wrestling room, on the main floor of the wrestling room. This is a unit that has been vacated for many, many years. Um, according to Dan Nash, who was here from 1986 until just a couple of years ago, this unit has not been used in his time tenure here. We do have a compressor in this uh, room here that does run the pneumatics for the, the steam portion of the, the vocational wing. Okay, this utility room is actually directly above the one that we were just showing you. Uh, that was on the, the basement floor uh, where the locker rooms are. This is just opposite to the fax room in the uh, CTE wing. This unit is one that we do continue to use. Uh, it helps heat the old uh, music room, which is now the, the weight room for wrestling, and then some other rooms on the, uh, on the vacation wing, probably the, the wood shop. It is still functioning. This is an example of some of the challenges that we face with the, the pipe system in the career tech ed wing, the old vocational wing. Uh, this particular pipe has let loose where the connection is, where the elbow is. We have had it repaired, but this uh, particularly, we believe, was the cause of um, the, the loss of water. We were having to fill the boiler um, almost every morning for several weeks, and we believe this is where the leak was. Since we've had it repaired, um, the boiler has not needed to be refilled as much. We still have other issues where we're losing some, some water.